Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to present to you three mid cap stocks that have corrected up to 30 to 40% in just last one year. I'm going to present to you why the stocks have fallen. That is number one. And number two is what is the opportunity for these three stocks to go back up to the previous levels so that we can buy this dip and understand whether we can make 30 to 40 percent of the profit in the next one to two years that is what i'm going to present to you i'm only going to present to you my fact-based analysis and it is up to you to make the decision with that let's get this video started the first talk that i want to talk about is glen pharma limited which is a pharmaceutical company have a look at my screen and you will see that in the last one year the stock has corrected close to 32 percent but more importantly if you look at the last five years history you will see that the stock touched the high of close to 43.50 rupees here and lows of 861 so a huge volatility is what the stock has shown but the question comes why the stock has fallen from its levels of 4300 this entire fall is what i am going to explain to you in a very very simple and quick point so please understand this point very very carefully because if you understand this point you will understand whether there is an opportunity for you to invest in this company at the right time so what you see on my screen is the entire journey of this stock and at around november 2020 the stock got listed on the stock exchange and if i show you the listing price the stock got listed at at around 1710 1710 rupees at the time 14 percent of the premium so the issue price was 1500 but more importantly if i show you this snippet you will see that the anchor investors in this company were small cap world fund government of singapore they actually got nearly 20 percent of the total anchor allotment and this is extremely important because what actually happened was the anchor investors started to sell the stock from here because after the listing of the stock the stock was soaring like anything because the sales and the fundamentals of the stock was extremely extremely good and also that time during the covid every pharma stock was booming like anything but what happened was when the stock touched all time high of 4350 what anchor investors started to do was they were coming out of the lock-in period of one year and they started to sell this stock let me quickly show it to you as well so if you see my screen you will see the shareholding pattern here and what you will quickly notice is the anchor investors that i'm talking about is government of singapore small cap world new world fund etc they started to sell the stock from here you will notice that from december 2020 to march 21 june 21 september 21 they were starting to sell this stock and by the end of march 2020 you will see their majority of the stakes were sold out so if i come back to the screen you will see that from here until march 2022 or april 2022 this drop was mainly because anchor investors were actually selling the stock so now we understand the reason of this fall here but what happened from here onwards is what also again we need to understand and for this the key reason of this fall is mainly the drops in their sales so if i show you the number you will clearly see that until december 21 march 2022 the revenues were up they were going up in the right direction but from june 2022 you will see the revenue started to fall if you leave this quarter aside here you will see that their sales started to drop until march 2023 this was one of the reason that their stock prices started to fall also if you notice here in March 2023, you will see an exceptional item here. The profit was extremely low here. Net profit, if you see, it is 79 crore only because of this exceptional item. And if we look at their quarterly results, we will see that this outstanding balance, one of the exceptional item was because this was mainly because one of their customer has filed voluntary proceedings meaning filed for bankruptcy and this was one of the reason that their net profit started to fall in in the quarter march 2023 the bigger question is why the sales were dropping for that let me quickly show you the statement that their managing director made it was mainly because last year they witnessed a business loss due to exit of their two key customers what you're seeing on my screen is the earnings call 2023 and the managing director here is referring to 2022 year where they lost two of their key customers and that is the reason that their sales were starting to drop here so hopefully this entire episode of why the shares have been falling is extremely clear but the billion dollar question is can this stock from here now go back to its previous levels or not and for that what we need to really make sure is we understand whether this company can recover the sales or not so let me now present to you what are the prospects of the sales coming back into the company's bucket and that will decide whether the company's stock price is going to come back to the normal levels or not so if i show you their latest earnings call what their managing director is clearly saying is that they lost business to their two of the key customers in the last year but he's happy to inform us that most of the product from the portfolio have now found a new home 
So this happens in the business all the time where the company loses the customers, but again, eventually looks out for new customers and they seem to have found their customers for these products. And therefore, I think the chances are that they are going to catch up with these sales. Point number two is if you look at the sales recovery in general, you will see that what their managing director is saying is that US market as well as European market, the sales are picking up now. And more importantly, if you look at the rest of the world here, you will see that last quarter Q1, they have got 18% of their share coming from rest of the world as compared to the 12% in the previous year. And this is important because Gulf Central countries GCC market is now improving from sales perspective. So in the upcoming quarters, there is a likelihood that the sales can recover overall from a base perspective. Reason number three, which is most important is because of Senexi acquisition the company did in March or April 2023. What is happening is it is adding to the volume growth of this company. So if I show you the data, you will see that their revenues at the base only grew by 4%, but you will notice that overall revenues grew by 41% and out of which 37% was contributed by Senexi revenue and they only counted two months of Senexi revenue, which is extremely important. The second even more important point is that their margins because of Senexi has gone up like crazy because if I show you their margin improvement, gross margin was of around 63%, a significant improve improvement from 56% because of the gross margins that they have from Senexi business, which is 76%. Because of the nature of this business, Senexi, their gross margins are extremely high and that is one of the reasons that the company acquired Senexi at the first place and in the upcoming quarters, Senexi's margins as well as sales are going to get reflected in the consolidated revenues and the profits of this company and that will bring a lot of revenue growth and margins is what I can clearly see here. Reason number four for their sales recovery in upcoming years will be that the synergies this company has with Senexi. So if you read this commentary here, you will see that there are some technologies. There are few technologies here that Glen Pharma do not have today, but Senexi has those technologies and they are going to leverage that as well to launch new products in the market. Point number two here is that you will also see that Senexi has also strong partners and they are going to leverage each other's partners. So Senex is a European company, a French company. It is going to give Glen Pharma access to European market as well. And that is also likely to improve the sales. Also, if we look at their new product launches, they are coming up with another 12 to 13 new product launches. And that is going to significantly grow from their sales perspective. And this is again important point because their sales overall are going to improve because of Senexi acquisitions, new product launches, the improvement in the demand signal across Europe, US as well as GCC countries. So all in all, I clearly see that in the next one to two year, their quarterly numbers are going to show much better picture in terms of the sales and profit as well. And that is going to drive this stock price upwards. If you also look at from a valuation perspective, we see that enterprise value divided by EBITDA comes out to be 2600 rupees roughly per share from an enterprise value divided by sales perspective it is 2800 something and also if you look at from price divided by sales perspective 2800 right now the stock is trading at 1700 1600 level so there is definitely a possibility that this stock might go up from here to the levels of 2800 if i also show you the pe ratio track record of the company the median pe of this company is close to 43 and it is now trading at close to 40 so again from that perspective also it is trading at a lower pe all in all it will seem to mean that the stock prices may go back to 2800 2900 level within a year or two years time in the short term there will definitely be volatility in the stock it is not going to be a linear journey that we generally see in other stocks but this is not a recommendation i am giving you my opinion so please make sure you do your own research and today if you invest your money it is you who is going to either benefit or lose your money it is your decision it is not my decision i am not recommending this stock all i have done is i have presented to you facts and analysis saving you some time potentially is what i have done here and if you like this analysis what you can do is support my channel by simply pressing the like button and and dropping a thank you in the comment that will motivate me to come up with these videos again and again. Also, you can consider subscribing to my YouTube member community because I also post in-depth stock and mutual funds analysis exclusively for my member community because it is always not possible to record a video. What I do is I create a write-up and I post it on the member community that will give you more information so that you can make informed investing decisions. With that, let us move to the stock number two now. The second stock that I want to talk about is UPL Limited and have a look at my screen. You will see that in the last one year, the stock has corrected by close to 18% and you will see that the major fall in this company has happened from this point onwards which is the Q1 of 2023. 
this is what we need to understand why the stock has fallen at this level right because it was somewhere around 752 here and now it has fallen to 600 level so what is causing this fall is what we need to understand before we do that let me quickly give you 30 second commentary about upl because it's very important some of the points that i want your attention towards so the first point is that upl is world's fifth largest agrochemical company and more importantly if you look at the history of this company you will see that the company has done lot of inorganic growth it has acquired more than 40 plus companies in the past and because of which this company carries elevated levels of debt but nothing to worry about it because i will talk about the debt in a minute also more importantly i want to talk about buyback the company did in 2022 and at that time the company offered close to 875 rupees per share as a buyback value right now the stock is trading at close to 609 so the company bought the stocks back at 875 last year now the stock is trading at 609 there is definitely a lot of upside here let us quickly understand it so coming back to the key point why the stock has fallen down in the last one quarter and if you look at the quarterly results of this company you will see that sales were really good until march 2023 they were growing at a good level if you see from the past no problem whatsoever even if you look at the profits they were all looking healthy but if you look at june 2023 the first quarter you will see the sales dropped almost by 50 percent and also the profits if you look they eroded massively it has gone down from 1000 crore rupees to 100 crore rupees level so it is a massive drop in the quarter one results of this company but what is rallying behind this is what we need to understand so if i present to you again some of their earnings calls findings you will very quickly see here that Two key reasons that their management has given for this fall is number one is channel D stocking. I will talk about it in a very, very simple way. You will understand this in a beautiful manner. And number two is aggressive price competition from Chinese. And if we are convinced that these two reasons are not going to play out in the next couple of years, then the stock prices can go back up to the 875 levels. And that is the opportunity for us to make profits. So first, let us talk about channel D stocking. So if I go back to their earnings presentation for the q1 mike frank their ceo clearly talks about what is the issue with the distributors channel stocking so just a quick background here if you read the commentary you will see that over the past couple of years distributors were stocking throughout the year it means they were buying the products throughout the year because there were risk on the supplier chain reliability potentially because of the covid reasons as well as war in the europe the supply chain was massively distributed so distributors were stocking the products at that time but what has happened now is because the supply chain has become more reliable distributors want to stock at much closer to the season times therefore you will definitely see one quarter being really bad because there is no season here another quarter might show you good results because there is a seasonality here so we need to understand this factor the second key point is that right now everywhere in the globe higher interest rates are killing everybody and distributors are trying to manage their working capital they are not taking the funding to stock the products that is one of the main reason that distributors are only stocking the products closer to the seasons so what we are going to see is that few quarters are not going to perform but few quarters are going to perform like anything because distributors are going to buy in those quarters the second key reason of their sales falling in quarter one of 2023 that was mentioned by their ceo is the chinese aggression in terms of the pricing and for this if you look at the commentary here chinese aggression how company is going to defend the chinese aggression clearly what mike is saying here is that we can't do anything about chinese selling at lower prices but what we can do is we need to look at overall cost of doing business simply meaning that the cost of business that they need to reduce so that they can also reduce the prices and for this what the company is planning to do is in the next two years they are going to reduce the cost by 100 million dollars this is extremely important in the next two years if the company can take out the cost from the business to the tune of 100 million dollars they are going to compete with the chinese market but please also understand the risk here that the management is promising here it doesn't guarantee you that they will do it there is always a risk that you need to weigh out here third key point about the recovery in this business is around debt as i talked about previously they have been acquiring a lot of companies in the past few years so what has happened here is that the borrowing is very very high but you will notice that from march 2020 they have been consistently 
significantly reducing the debt borrowings and this is very very important and the statement their ceo anand made was that they have reduced their debt by close to 160 million dollars in quarter one and they will continue to reduce the debt this is extremely important from the future prospects of this company because they definitely need to reduce debt but i see the company heading into the right direction in terms of reducing the debt as well last point i want to make is that their quarter one has been extremely extremely challenging and bad but what is likely to happen is that in the second half of this year their ebitda growth is going to come through and this is likely to send the stock prices back to the normal levels is what we can right now anticipate and forecast again it is not guaranteed that this is likely to happen but what we can see is that clearly there is going to be a recovery in the second half of the year and that will send the stock prices back to its normal is what we can see let us also quickly look at the valuation side of the companies if you look at the enterprise value divided by ebitda the share price should have been 833 if you look at the ev divided by sales it should have been 984 if you look at the price versus sales it should have been at around 1000 level right now the stock is trading at 600 level so from that perspective it looks to me undervalued right now also if we consider their pe ratio you will see that from peers perspective it is at 12 which is which is lowest in the peer segment from a pv perspective looks undervalued to me all in all it looks to me that upl is available at a discounted price i am not giving you stock recommendation i am putting out very clear disclaimer here that don't buy the stock because i am doing this analysis in front of you please do your own research if you lose the money it is going to be your money if you gain the money it is going to be your profit it is your money your decision all I am doing is sharing the information with you so that you need to spend potentially less time and this information will give you pointers to do further research so that you can take your own positions. The third stock that I want to talk about is Nika. All of us are aware of Nika's fall but have a look at my screen in the last one year. The stock has dropped by close to 36% and if I look at the 5 years window, of course it was not even listed 5 years back but from November 21, the stock has come down to close to 61% and the stock has been hammered like anything. One of the key reasons was the high valuation at the time of listing the stock. All of us are aware of that but more importantly what has been causing this consistent fall is what we need to look at. So first thing that I want to talk about is that many people believe that the competition here is the cause of their worry which is people are saying that. Reliance's Tira's launch might be one of the reasons but I don't really think the reason is competition here. The key reason here is what I'm going to show you is this chart here extremely important chart here. What you see is that the net sales have been going up from the last two years but if you look at the profits they have been falling while the sales are going up and this is the key problem that the company needs to solve and again if we drill down further you will see the why the net profits are coming down while the sales is going up. Let me quickly show you one of the key reasons is that their other expenses so if you look at their other expenses here the last quarter if you see 4000 crores is other expenses just imagine a company that is doing 14000 crore of revenues per quarter is spending 4000 crores in just other expenses that they are not able to categorize just imagine what the position of their net profits is likely to be so from that perspective the company needs to control the spend but i have not made it up just so that i can prove that it's not me making up the data here also look at the acknowledgement from fagni nayar clearly saying that that general expenses are out of control here from that perspective as well you can clearly see the commentary the second key reason of why the stock has been falling consistently is that from january 2023 if you see five of their senior officials have quit the company you see manoj gandhi here chief executive of wholesale business vikas gupta and so on and this is not stopping here because sachin kataria recently september 4 has decided to leave the company so this is another problem that the company is facing that their top managers are leaving the company and that brings unstability into the company Company. third key reason is that the investors are losing faith in this company because of what they did back in 2022 when they issued the bonus share prices this chart beautifully summarizes that again i'm not going to go into details of it but very simply what they did is that they announced bonus stocks just before the pre-ipo lock was about to expire again investors do not like this that you're trying to play around with them and trying to be smart here so these are some of the reasons that why the stock has been hammered like anything but the billion dollar question is that can this stock recover from here and what is the company doing in terms of controlling the expenses so let me quickly walk you through earnings presentation call and some of the commentary that will make you understand what the company is planning to do so what faguni is explaining here is that the first focus was on the fulfillment cost and you will see that it has come down 
quite a lot in the last few quarters also if you look at the warehousing cost they have been setting up warehouses and warehouses takes a lot of capital cost so that also has been going on in the business but they think that this is at the end of the cycle that meaning that the warehouse that they needed are ready there now so hopefully that the cost will come down so all in all a lot of improvement had already come into the fulfillment and marketing which is again important but the company acknowledged that in terms of the lack of focus on employee and other expenses is what they need to focus also advita nair one of their executives also talked about that they are building a new company let's understand this and when we are trying to set up a strong business what happens is typically that initially there is going to be peak losses there are going to be peak investment what companies acknowledging clearly is that the fiscal year 23 was that year for the company and now the cost is going to come down investment cycles are finished now it is going to come down so from that perspective we will see the expenses coming down and that will try to help the profit margins of this company now my take on this company is that the business model of the company is solid the management is solid right now and also i believe that at some level the stock prices have bottomed out and it is going to go up from here again we can't predict by when by what value and nobody can guarantee those returns but clearly this stock has seems to be bottomed out right now and there is potentially going to be opportunities but if people consider investing in this stock they have to be really patient with this company there is going to be short term volatility and in the next Two to three years when the company starts to give profitable quarters, that is where the stock is likely to soar. This is just my analysis. This is not an investment advice for you to invest in this company. I have presented few of the facts so that you at least understand the basic nuances in this stock so that you can make the informed decision. So these are the three mid cap stocks that have undergone massive correction in the last one year. If you like such comprehensive stock analysis, what you can do is consider subscribing to my YouTube member community because I come up with stock analysis on my member community. that will benefit you i would highly recommend you to watch these two videos because they are going to give you lot of value lot of learning so you can consider watching these videos as well and i hope you enjoyed this video thoroughly i will see you in my next video until then keep rocking